Hello, this is Alex and welcome back to my underground let's play. Um, I made some changes to my spider spawner thingy yesterday and it's working very well but unfortunately there's a few bugs with it um, as you can see down there and here there's a spider up there somewhere so I'm gonna get jumped in a second I better eat something so I can survive it uh, yeah here it comes Come on. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Ow! There's still some. Where are they? There's one over here. Two. Yeah, what happens is that when I log out and log back in, the mobs trapped in my contraption uh, over here. They somehow get out. These guys here. There's another one. Stop. Oh no. This is not good. Let me be. Oh. Oh, there's a tunnel here. Maybe I should be a real chicken and lock myself in here. I don't want to lose this XP. Okay, I'm gonna make a run for it. Run away! And lag, that's nice. Well, maybe they're all contained now. That would be nice. One down here? I thought I heard one over here by my by my little base. Wonder if someone's upstairs. No? Okay. And I'm out of food again. So I better pick some up. Uh, yeah, let's just take the pork chops. That's okay. Um, I wanted to show you the differences. Uh, before, I had a large pool here where they fell down into and they came from that spawner over there and that spawner over here. But after seeing Ethos uh, work and finally the, uh, the one Doug M did, I thought I must be able to do that as well. So I hooked up, uh, I changed the layout of the holding area up here. I used a lot of glass and a lot of trial and error. I hooked up this here delay to a crusher and uh, if I stand here they push me down. <laughs> so I'm just gonna crush them. I'm sorry it's so loud but that's the way it is unfortunately and I've spent, I've used a lot of iron swords here. Oh, uh, what's it called? stone swords. I actually had to run back and get more more stone and more wood. Come on. So I wanted to show you how effective it is. Uh, let's just kill these guys in here. From when I have zero XP and I kill a bunch of these here I want to show you. So I'm just going to pick this up. And I'm going to run back and enchant something. I don't know what yet. Oh yes, I wanted to show you something else I enchanted. I got myself to level 50 and made another pickaxe and I got silk touch and efficiency 4. I know at one time silk touch was able to pick up spawners. Uh, they can't do that anymore apparently. And also, when you place down the spawner, you got a pig spawner, so you didn't keep the hostile mob spawner. So, this is my old diamond pickaxe. I use this to mine a lot, and it's not even half used up, so that's very nice. And the good sword. So, um, let's make something, an iron shovel, iron pickaxe. 
I don't know what to make. I want to use these. Yeah, I can. I can make some. Let's make a hat. Yes. Let's go and chant a hat. Level 15. Uh, let's see how high can I get it now. Uh, I need to lower one more section. So let's see. Good. 15. Come on. 15. Going once. Going twice. Bang. And we have Aqua Affinity. Yay. Because I spent so much time underwater. Oh well. Well, what I'm going to do now is um, go down here. And I'm going to stand in my spawn spots, which is here. When I stand in this spot here, I'm within reach of the spawner in there and the one in there. So down these glass tubes, uh, spiders are going to come from both spawners. So maybe we can lure one out. Come on. Yeah. Good spider. I'm not going to hurt you much. Okay. So that one works. And we should get a few from over here. Hello. Did you bring a friend? What? I told you to bring a friend. No cookies for you. Hmm. Well, I guess he had no friends. Oh well. I'm gonna stand here. If I hit a three and point to this spot, you can see there are six there now. I've had it up to almost 50. And I want to show you how much it gives me if I let it fill up. Kill all of them. And I have no XP already, so when it's ready to, to go, I'm gonna turn the camera back on and we can see how much XP I'm gonna get. So, see you shortly. Okay, welcome back to the noise. Um, it's getting pretty full down there. I'm gonna try and speak up so you can hear me over all the spiders. Yeah, you all go down there. So, it's at 49 now, about. So let's uh, crush these guys a little bit. I just put a delay on here so that they should lose enough health and I can kill them. If you look underneath the stack, when I hit one, it immediately dies and turns around and turns red. So these are now a one hit kill with a stone saw, which is nice. Um, and it's better than the old setup. I get way more XP and they spawn way faster. I also expanded the rooms in which they spawn. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because they're really loud. Sorry for having to subject you to this. But I just wanna kill all these so I can see how much XP I get. Come on, die already. And I go through so many swords here, but that's okay. Swords, stone swords are indefinite. I can create infinite wood and infinite stone, so it's not a problem. And uh, it don't take long to make. I got a workbench right there for the same purpose. Tie already. Okay. Let's get the last few here. I don't know how many this is, but a lot. And if you, the entity count should be through the roof. Yeah, 500. That's all the drops, the XP the orbs and so on. So let's see how much I get. levels. That's nice. So I think I'm gonna make a pair of boots now. See what I get for eight, level 8. It doesn't take long to uh, get a lot of XP any, anymore. I'm gonna need another one. We're going to another in a short while so 
Uh, I'm gonna need some armor. What? Did I already have boots? No, I need... I need a chest plate as well. Like this. Alright. So, put this back. Mm, I'm probably gonna need a better sword down there. So I'm gonna make one. And get rid of this. Okay. And get rid of this. Uh, stone, blah blah blah, this is all good. I have enough, let's go enchant something. Start with the sword. What did I have? Eight? Yeah, eight. Give me eight. Come on, lucky eight. Sharpness two. That's nice. Okay, so um, while you, well, do nothing, I'm going to do this a bunch more times. Uh, just stand here and let the room fill up, get to level eight and uh, enchant uh, the rest of the armor. So I'm gonna need a lot more swords, like this. And we are gonna, I'm gonna come back when I have, when I'm ready to go to the nether, because we're gonna try and build one of those machines that uh, can capture and kill the blaze guys and get a lot of the blaze rods so i'll be back when uh, i'm done enchanting all of this it's gonna take me a while but for you it's gonna go really quick so see you shortly Okay, so that's the last of the XP. Let's get away from this contraption and have some heavy lag. Let's see what we can get on this last piece. Projectile project protection. Okay, I took it off because I get hit. I had this on and I got hit by the spiders a few times. There's no no reason to to keep it on really. So wow, look at my food meter there from killing all those spiders. So I'm gonna get rid of this and these here swords. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but I like to have it in my inventory. Um. Let's see, I'm gonna bring a little more cobblestone. I forget what else we're gonna need. Maybe some glass. Yeah, let's go to the nether. I wanna find one of those uh, blaze spawners and make it into a into an XP thingy like honey from a, a honey place channel a subscriber told me about it so i think that's nice i had a look at it it looks good and i want to try it so let's bring this cobble and a few things okay so i'm gonna run over there and uh, then i'll get back to you oops the gas just saw me Let's turn up this again and deal with the lag. Okay, good. So let's find that blaze spawner somewhere. Uh, just follow the torches, I guess. Die.
don't like all this fire. Okay, so there's the blaze spawner here. Uh, come on. Oh, you move so slow when you have the bow in your hand. Ow. Good. Okay, and I cannot disable it for some reason, so... I have tried. Uh, yeah, you see. Okay, so um, I'm gonna remove this area and uh, create an area for the blaze spawner to to spawn, so I can kill it because apparently they give very good XP. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got this thing built almost now. Uh, this is honey, honey setup. Um, and apparently these guys will spawn in these holes here and if I place glass in front of them then uh, die then you sh I should be able to kill them without them being able to attack me I made a little chest down here because I didn't want to run around with all my stuff so there and there So let's see if this works. Yeah, that was wrong. I don't know if it needs to be dark for them to spawn. I don't think that light has anything to do with it. When I lit up the spawner, they still spawned. So I'm going to put up some torches down here. Oh, damn it. Okay, a few more. Oh, shoot. Is that it? Oh, maybe I should put up some glass on that. Oh, yeah, okay. I need one more there. No. What? I'm really screwing this up. Like this. And then attack his feet or what? Hmm. Maybe you should make this larger. Yeah. It's really not enough room to attack. Uh, let's see if I do this. If they can get me. I'm gonna put up some light here. Where is it? It's there. Ah, oh, damn it. they give a fair amount of XP. Hmm. So glass all the way around. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. I have no more cobblestone. I used all I brought with me. I don't think I can get to him now. Ah, this is no good. Hmm. <gasps> oh, oh, no! <coughs> Shoot! That was quite a fall and a very stupid move on my part. I'm amazed I left through that. I thought I was going in the lava. Where's my thingy? It's way up there. Oh, wow. Well, we might as well just... Here. Yeah. 
Whew. That was a close call. Stupid, stupid move. Okay, so there's not enough underneath there to just put down, dig a hole. I put torches on top here so that the guys in here don't spawn on top. Yeah, I can't get to him. Hmm. Maybe like this. Yeah, that might work. So, leave the holes and put like this. And there's one there, so I can remove this one. I saw the video, uh, I think earlier today or yesterday, but I don't remember quite the setup, so I'm just going by by memory. I get a lot of these here rods. Oh, I better plug this hole. So, let's see. This is what I mean by I spend a lot of glass because, well, sometimes I use... What, what are you doing out here? How did you get out here? You're not allowed to spawn out here. Can they spawn out here? Oh, damn it. Maybe I should have made it larger. Hmm. Well, this needs to go. I think I need to expand it to make it safe to use because this is not good. Well, I'm gonna move around some more. I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I almost finished it. Just need to pick up all this because, as you can see, I had to build underneath as well. Uh, and I actually didn't fall down again, much to my own surprise as well, but oh, I'm underneath here now. What's this? Okay. What's down here? Nothing. Okay. Well, uh, let's see if we can get back up to the contraption up here. Uh, no, I don't have any. Oh, I have to go around. How bothersome. Okay, so, uh, hello, okay, so I uh, lowered the, the floor one, um, so now I can stand down here, kill them, walk up to them and get the, eventually, oh, okay, unless they spawn somewhere where they can see me. So I guess it's not foolproof yet. Um, also, I need some more glass for up there, and maybe I should put a piece in the corners so they can't see and shoot me. But I ran out of glass. But uh, I think there's still a few spots where they can still spawn outside. I think they can spawn here, and maybe here and here, but I don't know yet. I haven't seen them spawn there, so, but I got a lot of blaze rods now, and I got a lot of XP from doing all this, and fending them off every time I've turned my back to them, so, um, let's see what else I got, a lot of these, oh, I got more glass, great, I didn't know I had more glass, okay, I forgot, so let's finish it, like this. I don't think they can spawn now on the corners. Or shoot me for that matter. And I almost used up my sword just killing these guys. Because they do take a lot of beatings before they go down. The problem is now that I can't see where they spawn. Maybe I should make a few yeah, I can stand and look mm, over there, okay. 
Yeah, I think this is okay. It's gonna be easy to collect the blaze rods at least. Uh, I still think my spider thingy up there is more convenient than going all the way down here and getting this, but Honey had a two of these right next to each other, and so she's made two of those and ran back and forth between them. Uh, so in that case, it might be a lot, a lot of good XP, but in in this case here, I think it's uh, I think my spawner up there or oh, back in my base. Oops! Don't fall. I better make this a little bit more secure. What fresh hell is this? Uh, do I have any arrows? 19. Oh, you stupid git. My torch! No, torchy! Run away! It's gonna blow everything up. Ow! Nice hit, where is he? Hit him. Can I hit him? Yes. Did he drop it? Yes. Ghasts here. Yeah. Very nice. Whew. I hate fighting those guys. Uh, look at all this mess he made. Where's my torch bridge? Go away, stupid fires. I'm gonna walk into you and burn myself. Okay, so I'm gonna run back and I'll get back to you when I'm back at my base. Hmm. My nether ward hasn't grown very much, but you have to stand in nether for it to grow. I think this is stage two and they need to grow one more stage before you can harvest them. Otherwise you just get the, the one nether ward back if you harvest it before it's done. So, let's see if I had anything else here. No. I can put the glass back. More of this here. Yeah, that's good enough. Put that in there. Okay, so I'm heading back to the house. I stopped and picked up some glowstone. I was just begging to be picked up. Look at my armor. It's a good thing I had it though. Or I put it probably would have died. Whew. Uh, put this away. And what else? Stone thingies need to go in there. Uh, another brick. And fence. More brick. I don't know where to... Okay, I got someone who's in here. Ghasts here. Okay. So, and now I'm out of stone. I need to have stone on me. And dirt. Because you never know when you're gonna need it. And I always have the same stuff in my inventory. Okay, so... We didn't get around to... Uh, building the potions thingy today. Um... Let's see, I even forget how you make it. Well, you need one of these blaze rods at least. But then what? Is it cobble? Oh, that was. Brewing stand. Okay. Um, so I guess we need a few more. Okay. Three of those. I don't know where to put them. Maybe over here. Or maybe down there in that thingy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you can pick them back up, but they're not hard to make, so let's just try it here. Uh, and I don't have any glass bottles. And I don't have any nether wards. 
So let's see, you do this. 21 bottles, that should be good enough for now. And then you need to fill them with water. And then they take up, they can stack them when they're filled with water. And you put them in here. And you put something up there. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I forget if you can use raw sugar or if you need to put anything in it first. Something is happening. Uh, let's see what else do we need to do here. Do we have any guests? No. Probably lots of spiders over there. And my tree farm is growing out of control for a change. I don't like it when they take over my path here. Go away. Grow on your own area. Yeah, I think the potion thing is done now. Let's see what we get. Mundane potion? Hmm. And then we can put something else into the mundane potion. I forget what. Spider eye. Ghasts here. We can try one of these ghasts here. Let's see what this does. Nothing. Uh, I haven't. I haven't checked this. No, this makes it a splash potion if I'm not wrong. Can you crush these in some way? Blaze powder? I wonder what that does. I need to look into this. Blaze powder? No. You can combine blaze powder with something. Uh, and of course I can't remember what Maybe these? Oh, not glass. Magma cream. What does that do? Nothing. Well, it seems I can't put... I need to put something else into these mundane potions. But I've, I don't know what, and I'm not going to waste your time just fiddling around not knowing what I'm doing. So I'm going to look into it and uh, we're going to take a longer look at it next time, I think. So take care. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.